Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a get ready with us. We're in Paris. Don't mind the mess in the back. Don't mind our faces. I'm gonna show my updated everyday routine because ging nou licht weer donker? Ja. Jeez. Partially blinded me. I'm gonna show my updated everyday routine because both of us we don't wear as much make makeup as we used to. And we have some new products that we bought. So we're just gonna chat and get ready. Uh, we both bought this. Did you put this on your face? No, I'm gonna no. do it today. I'm gonna try it out today for the first time. This is the Fenty Skin Hydra Visor SPF 30. We both got this. It's very nice. I like that this is a refill bottle and she's now gonna try it too. And I also bought the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I heard so much things about this and I have to say, I love it. Very sticky and I love sticky. Sticky shit. Yeah. <laughs> I asked people questions like for for advice, and oh, I never you made can the video. Sure do that. Yeah, but yeah. I still have the screenshots. Yeah. Mm. 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 Ooh, get it, get Ooh. it, get Ooh. it, get it, get it. Go, best friend. Go, best friend. Get it, get. It. Okay, let's just start. The first thing is um, your view on dating. Your view on your dating, the dating life, the, like the dating scene in the Netherlands. Girl, <laughs> don't get me started about these men. Uh, yeah, dating um, in the Netherlands is very... We live in Rotterdam. Rotterdam may seem like a big city, but it's not. It's very small. Everybody, it's very small. Everybody knows each other. Everybody knows each other, especially us Cape Verdeans. Are, oh, we know each other. We all know each other, or we know of each other, oh, or we mom. know some, or we know the mom. We know, like, we just all know each other. And because of that, every single, it seems like every single time you, you try to date somebody or you meet someone, you're not meeting them for the first time. It's not new. <laughs> This you like, already know them mm -hmm. or you know of them. Okay. I'm sick and tired of this camera. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we were saying, so yeah, the dating life in, in unless you mean my specific dating life, and I'm not gonna, I don't speak about my dating life. Dating, I would just say, but on the other hand, there's some couples in Rotterdam that just like find each other and they're happy forever. It be something, yeah, that's, that's good, but. There's, there's probably some good. Being in a relationship takes a lot of, Patient. Mm -hmm. You know what seems like marriage seems very hard yeah. for me. But maybe because I'm such a okay, I'm done with this bullshit bye yeah. type of person. When you're married, you can't do that. <laughs> and it looks like whenever you get married, all your problems add up. Yeah, times yeah. Like. I'm using um, Fenty Beauty Ease Drop by the way in shade 17. And I'm mixing in a little bit of shade 15 because my tan is fading. If you try to date in the Netherlands, I'm sure you will find somebody for you. Yeah. I mean, just because we had some questionable experiences doesn't mean that you will. Ugh. My ex keeps coming back whenever I'm about to move on with another guy. <laughs> what does that mean? Girl, that means that he doesn't want you, but he doesn't want you to be with someone else. Exactly. I'm sorry to say it like that, but that is exactly what that is. He doesn't want you because for some reason you say he keeps coming back. So you keep breaking up. I is mm -hmm. I assume you keep breaking up and there's a reason for that. He doesn't want you right now, but he doesn't want you and by he doesn't want you, I mean he doesn't want to be in a serious committed relationship. And with also, you. why is he your ex? Like he's, he's your ex for a reason. What's or? the reason you guys keep yeah, breaking up and exactly. he comes? Because obviously, by the sound of it, you're trying to move on with another guy. Some part of you is done with him, but he keeps coming back. He simply doesn't want you to move on. He's trying to hold you back, keep you from your blessings, keep you in 
probably a toxic situation, mm -hmm. but he doesn't want to commit. He doesn't want to be the man that you deserve, the man that you need. That's what that means. Because I, I understand the question of what does that mean? Oh, does he love me? Does he? Does this mean that he, no. I, I'm not gonna say he doesn't love you because I don't know your situation, but it sounds like he doesn't want to be your man, but he doesn't want you to be somebody else's. Okay. And that is a toxic circle that is really hard to get out of. We've all been through that. That we want to be with a guy, they really don't want to be with us. We secretly deep down know it. We stay, then we try to move on. They, they come you back with that. You make excuses for everything yeah, they, they do. You make excuses for everything they do. Yeah. Then they come back with that I miss you bullshit. We buy it of course because we try to see the best in people. But um, yeah, and you know what? What's the thing about women? Um, when you dated someone, you you are, you already planned your whole life with that yeah. person. So whenever you like stop dating that person, you have to rewrite your whole plan. And you don't want to do that, so you yeah. keep stick to that person. You like, stick to that because, because we're plans. we're always too afraid to like start over. So yeah, if you're asking me what does that mean, it to me it sounds like he just doesn't want you to move on without him. And um. That's sad, so maybe try, sit him down and be like, listen, what are we doing? What are we doing? If this is, is this is what we're gonna do, this is what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna do the back and forth. Do you wanna be my man, yes or no? And don't buy the whole, I do, I love you, but I'm just not ready, uh-uh. Do you, I have a question, do you believe in the right person, but the wrong time? Mm -hmm. I don't. You don't? No, yeah, I, I think do. that if somebody's right for you, it will be right in every time. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If it's the wrong time, that's not the right person for you. No, that's I, what I believe. I don't believe that. I do believe in meeting someone mm -hmm. at the wrong time where you in a, he or you are I'm in, in the a wrong, stage yeah. that you're not ready to commit or mm -hmm. maybe. But then I think that that was then not the right person for you. That's what I think. We both have different opinions, but I just think that if when you meet somebody and you want to commit, even if because I had where I was like, I do not want a boyfriend. I am not. I do not want to date. I'm not ready for a relationship. And then I meet someone. I'm like, I might be ready for you. That's why I think that. But it sounds very toxic. And um, try to break out of that cycle, please, for you. Next dilemma. Maybe you know this. Somebody asked about getting rid of dark um, inner thighs. You know, when your thighs chafe. I don't have that. You don't have that either. No, but, but I know, know about, yeah. I know, like, uh, the whiteness, white initials, I think it's white initials. Yeah. It is a lightning cream, but you can use it for the right reason. Yeah, you can, reason, you can use it for the right purposes, the right reasons. You don't have to do the whole you know it's not the, the whole bleaching, skin bleaching right? no you can use it on areas that are darker to even out your skin tone exactly so yeah so they have i think they got a cream for inner ties oh they, they do. do and they have creams for like the Gucci area like if you want to oh give you them. want that because i have dark from you know from razors mm -hmm. and oh you should, you should see the before and after pictures on their on their instagram i'm gonna try that out and they have for your underarms they have kind of expensive. expensive but yeah well, it's worth it yeah i just do it. it's worth it i tried the for the spots on my oh face. you did yeah, yeah you did she has a video on her channel on the um removing the, her spots with the same cream um <clears throat> Being a virgin in your 20s. I don't think there's anything wrong with being a virgin in your 20s. Yeah. If you don't want to have sex, you don't want to have sex. That's point blank, period. Don't get pressured by other people that are having sex. I have a friend of mine yeah. who is my age and she has never had sex because she believes that that is something she wants to save for her husband. Okay, that's And good. I think that's very beautiful. It personally could never be me. That's just my opinion. But I think it's beautiful that she wants that and she doesn't feel, well, I'm sure she feels some pressure, but the pressure is not gonna convince her to do something that she doesn't want to. Mm. If you do feel pressure from people around you or that you feel like you need to join the bandwagon, maybe change your surroundings. Mm. Um, people should just respect the fact that that is something you're saving. There's probably a reason why you're a virgin in your 20s. Um, whether it's you haven't found the right man or woman or... And people should just respect your decision. People should just mind their own, like, yeah. that's like my motto in life. People should mind their own business. But I feel the pressure too. Like, imagine if you're a virgin. Imagine me, I'm 26. 
If I was a virgin, I would meet a new guy. Then I have to have the conversation. By the way, I'm a virgin. Okay, what I have under my eyes is the Too Faced Born This Way in the color Warm Sand. It's what she has under her eyes as well right now. Now I'm gonna cream, Jesus Christ, cream bronze with the Soul Body Face and b Body Bronzing Balm, the color dark. Uh, so yeah, conclusion, um, don't feel pressured. And if you do feel pressured, maybe change your surroundings a little bit. You don't have to tell anybody that you're a virgin. Uh, you don't have to tell anybody why you're a virgin. That's your absolutely your own prerogative. And so yeah, and I get that it's hard because dating alone is hard. And then you have to tell somebody on top of that that you're a virgin makes it extra hard. But there is gonna be a person that's gonna be like, okay, that's completely fine. If you mm -hmm. wanna wait until we get married, we're gonna wait until you get married. Wasn't that Ciara and yeah. Russell? Was it Justin Bieber and uh, celibate? Right. Oh, am I mistaking him? With, or was it the Jonas Brothers? Was Do you know Jonas? Justin Bieber? You think he was screwing Selena? Lighting keeps coming and going, so I'm very sorry about the shit quality of this video. Somebody says, just found out my ex of three years got another girl pregnant. <gasps> I'm like, is it was it your ex though? Or is he now your ex because he got the girl pregnant? Yeah, what's the question yeah. though? She just, I think she just wants advice on the situation. Just found out my ex of three years got a girl pregnant. It's a little bit vague. Um, was he your ex when he got the girl pregnant? Or is it that you dated him for three years that you don't have any children with him and now you guys have broken up and you found out that he's starting a new life with another girl? Exactly, let's answer both of them. I mean, let's bo answer both of the scenarios. So if he was your boyfriend and he got another girl pregnant, girl, I'm so sorry. Oof, that sounds like a horrible situation to be in. Mm -hmm. Is it my pooder? That sounds like a horrible situation. If that is the case, I'm very sorry, but that happened for a reason. You just gotta heal from that. If he got another girl pregnant while he was with you, um, be happy that, not, not be happy, but that happened for a reason. See everything that happens to you as a blessing and a lesson. Maybe you have to go through that to get to something way better. Exactly. And if it's um, that you guys broke up and you now found out that he got another girl pregnant like really quick after you guys broke up, again, that happened for a reason. That is no longer your situation. That is no longer your problem. I have a thing that when I break up with somebody, don't get me wrong, it takes me a long time to break up with somebody. But when I do, I don't look at your Instagram. I don't check oh. up on you. I don't check to I see do not care. what you're doing. Not only do I not care, I don't care to give myself that headache. Exactly. Why the fuck would I do that to like, myself? You're just going to be looking at He's pictures. He's going to be living his life and I'm going to be over here sad looking at this man's pictures. The man that is not thinking about me, is exactly. not stressed about me, yeah. not worried about me. Don't worry about what that man is doing. I know that that is maybe hurtful to see. We don't need to confront him. We don't need to ask him why. Yeah, exactly. We don't need to do all those things. What helped for me as well is all the shit that would bother me about somebody. Instead of asking them and confronting them, because in the end of the day when you confront them, it's more energy you're wasting and it's more, um, it doesn't do anything for them, it does everything for you. So the impact is on you, the hurt is on you, they do not do not care. So what I would do is I would just write it down. I would just write down my feelings it. and burn it and yeah. I would burn it. Everything that I felt, every question I had, everything that I was wondering, um, it got caught up again. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, just so re write it down, write it off. That helps for me. Scream sometimes. Yeah. Helps you. And let yourself be angry, let yourself feel the emotions. But my only thing that I would say is don't bother, not bother, but don't unleash your emotions to him because it's not going to do anything for you. You might think, I just need closure. Yeah, I, I don't need, do that. I need answers. Don't text a whole bug yeah. to him. Do, they do not they, care. They do not care, girl. I used to do that. They go, of course. Yeah. I used to do that a lot. Be like, I did it, and one, one more thing. Shall we do one more? Okay, let's. Let's finish on this one. We all um, went through this. She asked, do you think it's normal to be sad? Even though I'm over him and I would never go back, I'm still sad. Of course. <laughs> that was a huge part of your life, probably. Your relationship and him, that was a huge part of your life. He might have changed you 
for the better or for the worse people in our life have impact on us every single people person we meet even if it's for 10 minutes have a certain impact on us it changes something about you or it changes your view on something you know what i mean yeah it's true every single person you meet has an impact on your life mm -hmm. and it's 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 true maybe your friend that i'm gonna meet today she's gonna have an impact on me exactly I don't know what it is yet, but it's, it's some type It's of you to figure out what? What? Because you're exchanging energies with yeah. somebody. So for him to be, your, he was your boyfriend, you've ch exchanged so much energy. You've probably had sex with him. You've probably maybe introduced him to your family. He introduced you to his. You've been around each other's aura so much that now you have this big part of your life is just gone. And it feels like a loss. It's heavy to deal it's with. It's heavy. Heartbreak is fucking heavy. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to be sad. We are. The good thing to do is focus on yourself. But yeah, it's okay. It's normal. It's we all go through. Allow yourself some time. Just allow yourself. Okay, today. Today's gonna be a little bit of a bad day. Then tomorrow I'm gonna have a better day. And the yeah. day after that I'm gonna have an even better day and surround yourself with good people that make you laugh that distract you focus on your things write down your goals focus on you and it's a good thing that you know that you would never go back that's a good thing mm -hmm. but even though you would never go back don't dwell on you still it miss much. somebody but don't dwell on it yeah too don't much. dwell on it too much try to not dwell on it too much try to focus on other whenever things. i feel sad i just go and i take a nap and whenever i get up i feel Whenever, I remember. What do I say, do when I feel sad? I don't know. Okay. I just do. Usually when I feel sad, I put on music like really loud, and I just dance to that shit because that's all good. day. But that's good. Too. Yeah, I I put on music and I just completely zone out. I watch movies. I have my comfort food, and I do, I never allow myself to be sad for like more than a day. Mm -hmm. True. Me I too. just always say to myself, okay, today it's a bad day. It's a bad day. Tomorrow, I'm going to hang out with friends, I'm going to write down my goals, I'm going to go to the gym, I'm going to eat healthy, I'm going to feel good about myself, take a picture. Tomorrow's going to be a good day, but today, let me just wallow in my shit for a second. Good that you know that you don't that you don't want to go back, hold on to that feeling, and what really helped, thought about what am I missing? Because you're missing a person, but what are you missing? Is the crying? No. Do I miss wondering when he's going to call me, when he's going to ask me to come around when he's gonna ask me to hang out go on a date do i miss all that no do i miss the feeling of not being important enough no so yeah. what do you miss exactly. nothing you're not missing anything if anything you're gaining you're gaining back your time your life your respect the love for yourself so hold on to that the best advice i can give you my friend it would be it will be all right. It will be all right. right. Yeah. yeah. You'll pain, meet somebody. Yeah. Pain doesn't last forever. Heartbreak doesn't. The last only forever. thing that lasts forever is, is grief. the death of yeah. somebody that you yeah. love. That I have um, like my exes that I would be like, I really thought that I would die without them. Echt hè? Bruh. I don't handle all of everything out of emotions that I used to. I used to act out of my emotions. Exactly. I used to do something before I I really thought about it what is it that you're about to do think about it is it gonna benefit you no then don't do it girl i would just used to be like act and then think oh maybe i shouldn't have acted like that maybe i shouldn't have done that isn't growing up fun isn't being a woman fun but yeah to answer your question completely normal it will be all right you will be all right you will be just you will be fine. just fine now i'm like remember when i used to cry over that boy so remember when you were dumb cry like cry actual tears would come out of my eyes hey brother mm. I guess we're done i have not explained what i used on my face i will put it down below i'm very sorry hope you guys like this video if you did subscribe and uh yeah we're gonna explore paris have a grand old time have a good day I'm, i need to put something on my lips though and i don't have earrings in but I'll figure that out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, it was a bit all over the place, but but the lighting and this yeah. setup is good. And we're very chaotic people, so if that energy came across, you're welcome. <laughs>
I need to get up off of this floor. Let's see you on the other side. See you on the flip side. Watch my vlog. Watch my Paris vlog. Bye. Love is on